check out this donut spot called Dough here in Tampa, Florida. There's supposed to be like a really cool like inside spot and since we were in the area and feeling like we need a little snack, we're gonna go inside, check out what kind of donuts they have here. Place. How does it work? Do you want to get half a dozen or you just want to try one? Uh, we can get a half a dozen. We can check them out. Classic Top Shelf one. So Top Shelf, we can get six for six dollars or we can get the specialty ones six for fourteen. So okay. you want to do specialty or you want to do plain ones? Get the plain one. Get right. the, we'll try uh, the regular ones that they have there. Okay. This is a really cute little place. Like it was in yeah. a chandelier. It looks like an old bar. Yeah. And then can we just have a large coffee? Yeah, do you want any hammer sugar? Uh, yeah, both please. Uh, Anything else for you? That's gonna be it. Right, it's 9.22. The clothes are super cute. <laughs> yeah, I like the ceiling. Yeah, right? 9, 5, 6, 7, 8. You said 22? Yes. I got that. This is like a donut spot slash cafe. I don't know that they're open for seating maybe because of coronavirus, but it has like a cool little seating area. The old little coffee bar. Feels like an old bar. All right, so we got a half dozen donuts from Dough. This place fell on Christie's radar. Yeah. I never heard of this place before. It did have a really cool inside, kind of like an old bar theme. I don't know, I, I, I don't know what the theming of, of the golds and, and those stripes and it's like, I want to say like Venetian or something yeah. like that, but I'm not exactly sure if any of you guys know out there. Very cool, not really like a crazy donut-y old donut shop yeah. theme inside of there, which we really kind of go for. So. It's going to definitely lose points for that, okay? So, and we're going to base a pointing system and maybe as these donut vlogs go along, we'll, we'll you kind know. Kind of adjust. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll really hammer down a good system here and, and maybe we'll get to revisit some of these places because yeah. they do change, they do get better, they do go to new ownership and if we do hear about something like that, we will go ahead and do that. But, like I said, we got a half a dozen of those donuts maple the glaze looks really really good yeah. what's that one cinnamon cinnamon we got a chocolate frosted a vanilla frosted with sprinkles and a chocolate glaze vanilla frosted is usually my go-to I, I feel that you cannot go wrong with a vanilla frosted donut so we're gonna bite in but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the consistency of this donut okay so what you got is it's not a cake which is good i love a classic donut yeah with this moist moist like more of like not 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 a cake he doesn't like it when it's dense like yeah when it's like a dense donut we prefer like i like it i like it like donut. a more of like along the lines of like a dunkin donut yeah like soft and fluffy. but a better donut shop dunkin donut right. if you know what i mean so on based on looks alone right there i'd say we're looking pretty good i, I can hear your mouth watering mm -hmm. let's give them a minute to really soak it in really taste the flavors and the cake of the donut it's good the vanilla frosting is really really good it's 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 wet but not really wet okay but not a crumbly 
don't dry know. frosting. Oh, okay. You know how like when you sometimes you bite into it, and pieces it, fall off. Yeah, little pieces of it fall off, and then you lose the frosting. It gets all over you, especially while you're driving. Very good. Good sprinkles. Yeah, they're staying put. Yep. Good sprinkles. Not that a are lot staying of fall on. off that we had when he pulled that out of the box. And like I said, this. It's moist. It's pretty fresh. They didn't have a giant selection of donuts inside no. of there. All your typical donuts, they had some specialty donuts, which we really typically don't go for unless yeah. it's a cronut. Can't be cronuts, but they had no cronuts inside of there. I didn't see any at least. So. I don't think so. But first bite of this vanilla frosted donut, very good. So unlike Rob, I typically go for just a straight up glazed donut when I go to like the handmade donut spots because I always find like you can't go wrong with a glazed donut I like a glaze it's like nice light sugary so I'm gonna dig into the to the glazed one because that's what I that's what I prefer and right off the bat it's it's soft feeling it is the frosting is a little wet like right now it's melting like my fingers are melting the glaze which is fine I don't mind that but I'm gonna I'm starting to drool so let me take a bite of this guy Okay. The donut itself has a lot of flavor. Like the glaze is a nice light glaze flavor. The donut is a little bit thicker than I would probably prefer, but it is soft and moist. So it looks like a cronut. Kind of like. So initially, I'm I'm a fan of that because of that, but I do like glaze donuts so it also does look like a Krispy Kreme it does you want to try it's like a thicker donut mm -hmm. you can See? tell that this one's thicker than the vanilla too like yeah. look at them together he kind of finished his go this way like that like this donut's thicker I'm taking a bite out of it right it's not that good only because it looks like a cronut so when I was taking a bite out of it it I was expecting off. a cronut taste in my mouth and that, you know, the croissant, like the pull apart. That's what I expected. But it is a good glaze on there. Yeah. Definitely a nice, fluffy, you know, moist donut. That's nice. Very it's good. It's pretty good. I, I think out of this, like, for me to rate this glazed donut, I'd probably give it probably like a seven. No. Yeah. On what the donut do itself. Here is nail down the the rankings. So the donuts will be ranked from one to ten. Okay. So you're giving the donut a seven. Yeah. And I'm gonna give this donut I could probably give this donut a seven. A solid seven. Yeah. It's tasty. I have no complaints with it. It's staying together. I have nothing on me. So that's good. So it gets a solid seven yeah. from the both of us. For the donut shop itself, it was clean. It was. It had its own theming. Very dark inside. Yeah, it was dark inside. It did look like an old bar, not a donut shop. Yeah, like an old club. Okay, so some sort. it was clean and it had its own theming, but it was not a donut shoppy donut shop. So in that sense, on a scale of one to five, right? Are we gonna do one to five or one to 10? I would say 10 still, one through 10. Okay, so on a one to 10, I'll give this donut shop specifically, donut shop is a five. Okay. Because it's clean, it has theming, and it has good donuts. But it's not a donut shop -y donut shop, and it is by far from an like, old style donut yeah. shop, which we love. How about the coffee? Did you try the coffee yet? I, Took a sip out of the coffee now. Which it came in this cup. Yes. Right. And now it's in a Starbucks cup. Reason being, <laughs> what? Reason being, <laughs> I went to put the coffee cup into the cup holder in the car, and the top completely popped off and made me spill an okay amount into of the coffee Jeep. into so, the Jeep. So bad. Cups. Bad coffee cups. You lose a point off of that. Yeah. So on a scale of one to ten, you're starting at a nine. Yeah. They made the coffee very good they're using a good brew so i'll give them that it's not a crappy burnt uh coffee that's okay. been sitting on the pot so it's like fresh tasting forever it tastes fresh okay the kid knew how to make a light and sweet coffee which isn't that hard but yeah some people don't know how to do that so i'm gonna give this coffee on a scale of one to ten 
we are going to be looking at I'm going to give it a solid 7 right along with the donuts. So the coffee matches the donuts. Okay. It's consistent to the donuts. It does taste good. It is nowhere near one of the best cups of coffee I've ever had. Yeah. But if I lived around here and this was my local coffee spot, I would be happy with the coffee that I'm drinking right now. Okay, good. Should we try another donut? Like, because I feel like this cinnamon one is that cakey material. Material. That cakey texture yeah i don't want the cinnamon one based on the fact that it's cakey yeah you can and see I'm that just it's cakey. not that into it like that it also reminds me kind of of a um a chinese donut in a little a little bit but and i kind of like might even be a little bit more fluffy yeah i kind of like those because it's like a, a dumpling yeah a, a zeppelin yeah but we could try the maple one okay if you like, because do you like the maple? Yeah, I usually like maple. Oh, what else do we have here? Or the chocolate. I'm not a I'm not a big chocolate gal, right. so I'll probably dig in with the maple. So let's try the maple See because maple, maple donuts are very good. It smells good. It does. It's okay. All right. I'm like, I think I like that donut better than the glazed donut. The it has a good after effect, honestly. Like the taste that I have lingering in my mouth right now is definitely. It's nice. I kind of liked it better from when than when I first took a bite. It has a good after flavor. Yeah, it has the same. It has the same actual donut as the vanilla one that I just had, which is good. the The maple frosting on it is very good. Like Christy said, the aftertaste hits very nicely. Yeah, I really like it. The frosting on it, it's nice. It's staying in place. So. That donut gets a seven as well. Yeah. So we want to try out a couple different donuts just so we know that they're just not, you know, getting away with just one specific right. donut. And, and and that one's really good. So they got a good glaze. They have a good maple. They have a good vanilla frosted so far. I'm sure the other ones will follow suit. Yeah. So the total score. So we have a seven for the donut, seven for the coffee, which brings us to 14. Then we have a like solid five. five for the Actual atmosphere donut of spot. the donut spot. So that brings us to 19. Okay. Bonus points. Where do we get bonus points from? Um, the bathrooms weren't that clean. Like the women's bathroom kind of had garbage kind of like overflowing, which I didn't really like care for. No bonus points for that. Merchandise. They didn't have merchandise, although they did have candy. You could buy candy here. But yeah. also... This I'm is talking a, specific merchandise. Well, We're yeah. talking coffee mugs... Donut themed things, T-shirts specifically that would would go along with a donut themed. They didn't have store, any. you know. They didn't have anything like that, so no bonus points for merchandise. The I will give them one bonus point. We're gonna round them up to a twenty because the employees. Oh, very nice. They were very nice inside of there. Yes. They let us film inside of there. Yeah. They helped us out. Uh, you know, they asked us what we wanted and, yeah. and helped us out. Maybe a nice cup of coffee, which I'll take another sip of right now. And in that case, they get a 20. So okay. Joe here in Tampa, Florida yeah. gets a 20 on a scale of 1 to 35. That's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's above, you know, the middle line right there. They could definitely do it a little other things in the bonus categories and stuff like that yeah. to get their score up there. And they can really do something in terms of not changing the theme. I don't want the, them to change what they got going on here. I want them to up it and make it more inviting. Yeah. I want it, when I walked in there, it seemed like a place that could have been very vibrant yeah popping and, yeah. and, and, and it, it was just wasn't dull. seemed like, and it might be because of the pandemic. Maybe. If anybody comes here, if anybody is from Tampa and frequents this place, yeah. let us know if we should stop back by here in our journeys because it might just be because of the pandemic. So I don't want to fault anybody because of that. But hey, you got a solid seven on the donuts. You got a solid seven on the coffees. The theming's good. If the pandemic is holding it down a little bit, you got some wiggle room going yeah. on there. So there we go. A solid 20. For dough. For dough. And we're going to see you guys at the next donut spot. Peace. Peace.